That's worth it for that. <laughs> You'll be happy to know, Steve, that it's just me and there's no Mark anymore because he has given up and he will take the bus home. Well, he didn't give up. We decided we'll take the bus, but now he wants to go. You d I decided I'd walk, is what I mean. Whereas, he decided to take the bus. Um, just here was the original site of the massive shrine gate, which I assume was just here, or 200 meters down that location on the river where we saw it before. So yeah, just you and me now. And tomorrow morning we have to wake up at 4am and go for a 9 hour walk with your pack on. Look forward to it. Back on the right path. Can you read it? You know me near onsen. Not far, 2.2k. Only 3k from the onsen is our campsite, so that's only 5 kilometers. That's not too far. Up the steps we go. Tell you what, this town, Hongu Taisha, really nice. Really nice. These towns are really small. There's your shack. There you go. There you are. Um, yeah, here is Kumano Koro, there is not Kumano Koro. <laughs> okay, yeah, I hope I get home before Mark does, but he's getting a bus, so we'll see. A bit more, this is pretty cool. Cause I know you like this kind of stuff. Zoom out a bit. Well, I bet you wish you were here. Okay, someone's around the corner, so I'll turn this off. Ooh, what could be around the corner? You won't know. Let me see. There you go. See you next time, or later, or in a second. <laughs> Alright Steve, imagine doing this with your pack on. This is what you like, isn't it? Climbing up these uncertain slopes with your bag. Oh, oh, okay, watch this step. Oh god, <laughs> wait, okay. On the right path, oh my god. With your pack on, well I don't have it on today, but I mean, if I did, I'd be screwed. The camera's not really getting it, but... Yeah. Look at it! It's not really that bad. But I mean, look at it! Just what is this path? Where is it going? But... Uh, what is this? Up the steps, around the route. Hold on, one hand. Up. Up. Okay. okay. All right, hold on. Camera goes down. It's not a bloody staircase at all. Just see what we were climbing on before was like, the road. This is not, you just put stones here around the roots. That's all I've done. Okay. So it's like you're actually walking in. Okay, here you go. Oh, it keeps going on. Imagine getting to here. Oh yeah, a bit of flat, almost done. No. <laughs> Uh, I bet you're happy you're not here actually, having to do this. You'd say, oh, I'll get the bus too. I'll stay with Mark, I'll get the bus. I'm not going on your crazy walks again. But look at it, I mean, oh, it's gorgeous. That's better. Well, you can hear me breath, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. I'm gonna fall by doing this, but whatever. 
I sustained an injury while skiing, you'll be happy to hear. A bug in my left knee. I went down and I yelped. Like a proper cry, like a yelp. Like a whelp. Oh, it's like vertical. And I thought my knee was done. And you know I've got no insurance and I thought oh, I'm buggered. But it's alright. It only hurts a bit. I'll show you what's at the top of this and I'll turn it off because the battery's going soon. There's no charges at my campsite. But actually, there's a heated toilet with a ch charging port next to it. So, I might be on that toilet for a bit tonight. Charging my camera. Nothing up here. Okay. Around the next corner, I'll let you know. Alright. You can hear out of breath. Because I've gone and run it, haven't I? I've ran it, ran it, ran. What am I saying? I'm delirious, Steve. I've gone and had a run, a proper jog, but it's just gotten too steep. You're probably thinking, I am sick of these rocks. Look at this. Well, it doesn't seem so bad, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I can't get my breath back. Oh. It's getting hot. It's getting late as well. It's going on quarter to three. Oh, the date, okay. Hello. Today is Monday, the 21st of January. January's almost done. I'm almost done traveling. Got about a week and a half left in Japan at this point. It's been fun. Proper good fun. Feels like I've been here forever, but also feels like we were just at the airport, <laughs> sleeping there. I smell awful. I never smell. I, <laughs> um, I told Mark that's traveler's scent. He laughed. But yeah, you would have liked this. This is good. Just in the mountains, yeah. Been good. Right, I won't record any more of this bit until I get out of it. So, mate, I will see you then. If I get out of it. Which way do you choose? The path of righteousness or the path of whatever this is? Where does it even go? <laughs> there you go. A little bit of a break spot. This is good. Is this really what I think it is? This has been well maintained, like recently. No, it's not. I thought this is running water, but it's not. Sorry. All right, Steve, I'll tell you what, if today, no, if tomorrow is like it's today, we are screwed. You can, my heart is in my chest. That's how vertical that was. I'm almost done, I can see the top of a mountain. I must have walked at least a kilometer and a half, if not two. I can hear some sort of stream going on, but I can't tell if that's a wind or what. Yesterday, when we were on that mountain, Mark and I, I could uh, hear the announcer's voice from the festival at the bottom of the mountain through the trees and it sounded like a ghost or like a whale kind of going like, I'm not going to make the sound obviously. But yeah, this is tough. I'm saying it's tough, so you know it's tough. <laughs> and with the 22 kilo pack on, I don't know how I'm going to do it. So here I pray that tomorrow is easier than today. And I just made a little bit of a poem for you. Because as I re was reading, my little shrine, my, my uh, auxiliary shrine stopovers, Oji is the Japanese word. That, a lot of poems happen here. And a lot of getting on your knees and praying. And I can definitely, definitely understand why they were doing that. 
But look at this. How nice. How nice. Okay, let's see. This is not a, this is like a signpost, which means you've walked 500 meters. That should say 72, I think. Or 12. Oh God, it got pleasant. That was difficult. <laughs> what am I doing? All right, until next time. Okay, little story for you, Steve. Um, that rock is called Hanakake Jizel. And as we're walking this path, which has turned from absolutely violent to lovely, the most peaceful walk I've ever had in my life, just look at everything around me. God damn, it is beautiful. Um, Hanakake Jizu. As a long time ago, this is a story about that rock that you saw at the beginning of this portion of the video. Um, as we walk through the forest again, and I can't get over how nice it is. Um, I'll start. Um, okay. There was a master craftsman who was building a pagoda and an apprentice. And the apprentice. He took this trail, which goes to Yunomine Onsen, which is where our walk starts tomorrow and where mine ends today. So the apprentice took this walk every day to Yunomine Onsen, which isn't that far, it's about two and a half kilometers. Uh, and he brought his master an Obento, you know, a lunchbox. And in it, there'd be, you know, the usual rice and everything else and assortments. But the uh, apprentice would stop there and pray to uh, Jinzo, which is a deity, god, I don't know what of. It might just be the one that Mark and I saw earlier, which means like, uh, god who appears in folklore, which is very popular. Anyway, so we take a bit of rice from his master's lunchbox and offer it up to the god, the Jinzo. And then he'd continue on his trail, and he'd get to his master and bring him his uh, lunchbox and then have it under the pagoda, apparently. Or probably, that wasn't written there. I'm adding this bit in. Anyway, the apprentice would always pray for successful completion of his master's pagoda. I'll have to check it out when I'm there, if it is there or not. Or was there. But every day, the master would open up his bento and notice that a bite had been taken out of his rice. And he thought, oh, my apprentice. He's been stealing my rice, that sneaky apprentice of mine. So he sought to teach him a lesson because he thought he was you know, taking his lunch as we go through this little bit of a valley between the rocks here. Um, so the master, he hid in the trail one day behind a pine tree and waited for the apprentice to do his, you know, daily walk through the mountains to give him his lunch. But I mean, why would you like... Uh, well, okay, well, hold on, I'll tell the story first. And so um, the master was hiding behind a pine tree and the apprentice got to the bit where he was going to take out the rice and offer it to the Jinzo. Where upon the master has got, I guess, a club or a baton or something, and he takes a swing at his apprentice, and the apprentice falls down in pain from a broken nose. However, when the apprentice looks up, there is no pain, and his nose is fine, but he looks at the rock carving, and the nose has fallen off, and the blood is trickling down, and it appears that the Hanakake Jinzo has taken away the pain from the apprentice because he's been so kind as to make offerings to him every day. And Hanakake means broken nose, naturally. Anyway, that's the story I want to tell you as we we're walking through the nice bit. It's gotten a bit treacherous again. Probably you can tell. But I've got a few issues with the story. Why wouldn't the master just approach him? Like, say, hey, you've been stealing my rice? I guess that didn't happen back in those days, did it? I mean, you wouldn't steal the rice. But also, why would the apprentice not say, oh, by the way, I've been taking a bit of your rice out every day, making an offering? I don't know about this one. I'll have to think about it while I'm taking my walk. Okay. It never looks so serious on the camera when it does in real life. Why is that? If I'd looked through the camera while I was walking down, you know, I'd be like less afraid. I'm not afraid, I just don't want to hurt myself. But... It's like, there's nothing here. Oi, oi, oi. <sighs> Just had a thought while I'm walking down this bit, Steve. Wouldn't mind being on a bicycle again soon. My knees are hurting. Oh god, okay, okay, okay. That is me. Just trying to, okay. 
That's probably a bit more foreboding. Can you see it? You'd say, oh, what's there to see? But I mean, what are you walking up? Really, what are you walking up? That's good for you, isn't it? <laughs> Should be there soon. I passed the 1500 meter marker from before I stopped counting, and there's only 2.2 kilometers, so I think I can hear some cars. This is a good mountain. I recommend this to anyone. If Palfrey is watching, Palfrey, you would like this. Uh, if Mark is watching, Mark, you would not like this. Or maybe you would. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't. Actually, yeah, you would. Yeah, I reneged. I reneged my... Re oh, look at that. Nice bit of actual path. Okay. <laughs> we are descending the mountain nicely now. And I've just had a thought, a second thought. You know, we said we didn't see any bears where there was the bear signs. Well, it's winter, and the bears hibernate in the winter. So never have I ever had anything to fear about bears. I'm walking like like, like an idiot because this is a steep decline. My poor knees are taking a beating. And I wish, as I said before, that the path is not like this tomorrow. Because doing this with 22 kilos on my back is just gonna break my knees. I will have. Exploding kneecaps, as the kids say. Very, oh, look! 200 meters, can you see it? Not yet. Down the stones. Uh, I couldn't have had them to win steps, but whatever. Uh, imagine me and that carpenter as apprentice. I have to do this every single day. He'd be fit. There we go. Wait, it said like, that's not fair. It said it was 2.2 kilometers, but I've already walked 3.1. Okay. 200 meters to go. I'll see you at the bottom, I suppose. Have fun. As much fun as I am having. On second thoughts, I thought I'd let you just experience it without me talking about everything, so I'll be quiet for a bit. There wasn't anything at the top of this shrine. Shrine. Mountain, except for that Hanukkah. I can't pronounce it. Broken nose god guy. I'm actually tired. This is good for me because I have to be up at 4 am, so it means I can get to bed immediately. Matane. Guess what? Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> Let's, uh. I just getting a bit excited here, aren't I? Have a look, me. Oh my god. Come on, up the steps you go. Okay. I've passed through some of those trying gates today. I hope there's no one here. Got your map here, the one now in Japanese. There's the hills, like when we climbed the uh, top of the mountain. I can't remember it, of the Nakasendo, isn't it? Tell you what, oh god, look at that flare. There's a photo for you. Uh, quick look around and then. That's your shrine. Well, it's not your shrine, it's your orgy. I'm gonna read that myself in a minute. Um, stamp boxes have been everywhere at these shrines. So you can go around, and I'll show you quickly. You go around, open the door, knock first, and you don't have to. And inside is a stamp pad and a bit of ink, and each one is different. That's why it's all red around the sides, because it's red ink, I suppose. Anyway. That mountain was fun, wasn't it? Hope you had fun. I had fun. I don't know how long this video's gone on for. Maybe I'll make it two parts today and tomorrow. And then the third day, three parts for you. How's that? A three part video. 
in the sun I am. Now I'm in front of the Shrine Gate. Okay. I'll probably record a bit more before I log off for the night. I'll show you my tent and camp set up for the day. I'm still in front of this one. I'll show you my tent and camp set up for the day. And maybe what I'll have for dinner. <laughs> Two nights. <laughs>